name is Abigail Gazembe, nurse midwife by profession, and I come from Kamuz University of Health Sciences in Malawi. I'm going to present about provider mental health and well-being, which is essential to providing respectful quality care. And I'll specifically report on findings from implementation science research in Malawi. This study was nested within a one-time investment in Malawi and Madagascar to support USAID's objectives of high quality, respectful and accessible essential maternity care services provision by generating and testing solutions to address barriers for PPH prevention and treatment, advancing interventions, strategies and innovations to strengthen existing care for PPH prevention and treatment. We had two research questions. Do mental health factors influence respect for maternity care? How do the different components of providers' mental health affect RMC? We collected data collected data from April to May 2021 and we interviewed 282 providers and maternity units. Uh, these were 25 facilities and 4 districts and uh, there were some health centers, uh, community hospitals and then go a tertiary hospital that was involved. In terms of participants, we had clinicians and nurse midwives and midwives were the majority of the uh, participants. In terms of defining provider stress, we looked into mass like burnout inventory, MBI, which is used globally to measure burnout across three dimensions, which include emotional exhaustion, EE, that is a feeling of being emotionally overextended and exhausted, depersonalization, DP, which is an unfeeling and impersonal response to clients. Thirdly, professional accomplishments, PA, feeling of competence and personal achievement. Another aspect was a depression, which, is, which was defined as low mood that lasts for weeks, months, and affects daily life, and it is measured using PTAQ. Uh, Post traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, this is a mental health condition caused by traumatic experience. Uh, symptoms include flashbacks, nightmares, uh, feeling very, very anxious and difficult to sleep in. And it's measured using a validated five item primary care screen. Many providers experienced burnout. Uh, as reported by high uh, EE, which was at 30%, high DP, 16%, and low PA at 44%. And high levels of DP may be related to COVID-19 pandemic. There was also uh, self-reported provider RMC scores using person-centered maternity care scale, uh, PCM, PCMC. Uh, providers reported RMC uh, were used, uh, we adapted 15 items, and that included domains of communication, autonomy, and respect. Was also reported high emotional exhaustion and depersonalization, linked to which, which linked to reduced RMC. Providers with high EE or DP 
reported lower overall PCMC scores. Uh, providers were also less likely to always assess pain or explaining procedure and some never or verbally or physically abused the patient. In terms of burnout, we can report that those who physically abused the patient were rated at 88% and no burnout 98%. While those who verbally abused the patient, uh, burnout was rated at 63% and no burnout at 78%. Those who uh, assess the patient's pain. Those with burnout were reported at 18% and no burnout at 85%. Uh, in terms of emotional exhaustion and, and depression, these were directed reducing a person-centered maternity care schools and the PTSD and depersonalization exacerbated effects of emotional exhaustion and depression. Supportive relationship with facility management can also protect against burnout and improve 